Hey guys, welcome back to episode 7 of WWE 2K22 My Rise, and today we will be starting the PC Showcase. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC Showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you going to face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. And show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait. So you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. Okay. Well, if you didn't see the last episode, we will be facing Shinsuke Nakamura in for the... PC showcase and now let's talk to Chase. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. Man, the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. <laughs> you beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence, and I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. I know. We could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm going to go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's gonna be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally like pyro or anything. I mean like the romantic kind. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that. Mm, that's a bit sus there, Chase. Just, just a bit. Okay, and the match is started. And we are getting it started off with a combo, and with another combo, and slam Shinsuke to the ground. Now, we're going to the top rope, going for a splash. Now, the stomping away on Shinsuke. Now, missing the elbow drop. Now, reversing the suplex and countering it with another suplex. Now, the elbow drop hits and missing the second one. And it Reversing the German suplex and just punches and a knee drop right to the face. Now looking to break his arm and then just stomping and kicking away. And there's a strike right to the back. Now Ooh, Shinsuke reversing that strike. Now looking to escape from the carry, but getting a snake eyes right in the corner. And a kick to reverse. And a Russian, a side Russian leg sweep from Shinsuke. Now. Now picking Shinsuke up, 
I'm just hitting him with everything and a big blow to the face. Now, picking him up and it shouldn't get reversed him with a reverse DDT. Now, picking Leon up and reversing the signature and just destroying Leon Taylor. Just knees to the bottom, knee after me. Now picking Leon up and it reversing and it missing it the spinning heel kick. Now, oh, and Shinsuke with the cradle and Leon Taylor kicking out. Now the rough blocking Shinsuke. I'm just getting Irish whipped into the corner. There's the boot right to the face. They're stomping away in the corner. And it reversing. With the spinning it back heel kick connecting. Going for the pin on Shinsuke. And one, two, and Shinsuke Nakamura kicks out. Now, going to the top rope with Shinsuke laying flat in the middle of the ring and a big splash. Just stomping Shinsuke. Now bring Shinsuke up. Looking, bring him up to the side. The Tay drop. Now looking for the pin. One. And kicking out again. Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, from the corner, pointing at Shinsuke, getting ready. Shinsuke doesn't know where he is. With the cartwheel to the Pele kick, Can it connects. Shinsuke might be out here. The one. And three. Shinsuke Nakamura has been defeated by Leon Taylor. Let's see what the GMs think about this match. Let's see who wants to offer a contract. Okay, let's see what's going on now with the GMs and see. Congrats, where will you start your WWE career? Congratulations on your successful PC showcase. Multiple GMs were impressed with your performance and will possibly offer you a contract to sign with their brand. Be sure to talk to as many GMs as you can to weigh your opinion options before you will make this important decision. So we have William Regal, Adam Pe and just Adam Pierce. Okay, so William Regal. I've heard a lot about you and you didn't disappoint with your win over Nakamura today. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. This is a big decision, and I need to think it over. That's fine, but you don't have a lot of time. Weigh your options and get back to me. Okay. Talk to William Regal from NXT, and then Adam Pierce. The fact that you had the courage to not only face an opponent like Nakamura, but then beat him really proved what kind of competitor you are. That's why I'd like to offer you a SmackDown contract. This is a big decision, and I need more time to weigh my options. I get that, but let me know before I leave today. Okay, Adam. So, I think, oh, SmackDown or NXT? I'd like to start with NXT. I've heard a lot about you, and you didn't... It would be an honor. In my opinion, NXT is the top brand in WWE, and I'm only going to help make it stronger. I'm betting on that. And don't forget to take a moment to celebrate this achievement. You've earned it. Thank you, Mr. Regal. I promise you won't be disappointed with your decision. I hope not, but we'll find out soon enough. So, you're going to NXT. Let's see what wonders we can do at NXT. Oh, Mandy Rose is here. Let's see what she has to say. So no offer from Raw, huh? It would have taken a lot more than what you did today to get a Raw contract. 
Like maybe if you had beaten Drew McIntyre, but you didn't even have the guts to face him. So no, no offer from Raw. Well, maybe we'll cross paths some other time. Yeah, maybe. Now, if you don't mind, I have other business to attend to. Okay, Mandy. You had no offer from Raw, but from SmackDown and NXT, we took NXT. So let's see where first thing will be in NXT. Okay. Let's see. If it would like to load, that would be nice. Oh, we're still in the performance center. We can talk to all of the other, all of our, the rest of You're our class. looking at the blue brand's newest superstar. It took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the paragon. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing in NXT. But without the lame nickname. Whatever. I'd say I'll be watching on NXT, but I'll be too busy dominating SmackDown. But if you ever make it out of the minors, let me know. Okay, so Paragon is going to SmackDown. Hey, I heard you're going to NXT. Looks like I'll have some company. You sign with NXT too? Yeah, I just spoke with Regal. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. We should look out for each other there. That's a good idea. Especially considering we might have targets on our backs coming in as the new guys. Look forward to competing with you there. Congrats, man. You too. Okay, so we are going to NXT with Hector Floors. And... Now, let's see what Chase, where Chase is going. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Comparing yourself to us isn't going to help. Your time will come. Trust me. You just need to take a hard look in the mirror and see what you can change to capitalize on the next opportunity that comes along. That's good advice. But what if it wasn't anything that I did wrong? What if someone in WWE doesn't want me to succeed? What if I'm being held down? Bro, I think you've been spending too much time on social media. There are no conspiracy theories in play here. All right. But that is exactly what you would say if there was one. Chase, keep your head up and continue to work hard. <laughs> I gotta go clean up my locker. That's not code, is it? Like you're not trying to tell me there's a conspiracy theory against me? That I'm being locked down? Wink twice if I'm onto something. Chase? So Chase did not get signed, and he thinks that someone is holding him back don't think anyone would want to hold him back no time Congrats to on getting goals. signed to NXT I think you're gonna do big things there thanks for saying that especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye it's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days that's a joke but nonetheless this is always a proud day for us but just remember don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches okay so basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. Okay. And so now, I believe we should go to NXT for the first time.
to we were rising at NXT. And there you see the newest addition to NXT's roster making their way into the arena. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Well, nobody asked you, but I have to agree. This guy is the definition of superstar. Okay, finally on to a brand after completing all the quests in the performance center. The, the NXT loading screen looks pretty cool. It's still the black and gold and not the rainbow one that, and they're not the rainbow NXT 2 Moyo. That sucks. Okay, story complete, PC showcase. Okay, so now if we go story progress and performance center, they have all been completed. Every single one of them. Now, NXT, there's quite a few. Okay, so there's three locations, gym office, gym, and the pool hall. We are currently in the gym. Let's see what social media is saying. Cameron Grimes is the greatest superstar to ever wear a hat. Hashtag to the moon. That might be the ri most ridiculous statement I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot. Okay, name one other hat ruined wrestler who's better than Cameron Grimes. Sami Zayn, Farouk, JBL, Macho Man, Godfather. Oh, The Undertaker, I can go on. None of those losers ever did anything. I don't appreciate you questioning my greatness. So how about I show you what I can do in the ring? Sounds good. My first match in NXT, my first televised match, is going to be. Never mind. Oh, nope, the Man Hatter. This looks like a long story, but let's do it. Oh, there's new loading screen tips. Okay, we should be in now. Oh, it's a cutscene. Hold on, Cameron Grimes and he is attacking me from behind. Of course. Media. What do you expect? This is an overreaction, to say the least. Now the ref getting Cameron Grimes off of Leon Taylor, but he is going to. So is there a match? I don't know. I guess not. And so Cameron Grimes just attacked me from behind. My first supposed to be first televised match. Who's the greatest hat that's super sure now? Cameron Grimes, baby. The only thing you prove is that your coward. Pretty sure Jeff Hardy didn't teach you to jump people from behind when he trained you. You have no idea what you're talking about. Leave him out of this. Didn't see this but don't like what I'm hearing it's it's right stop worrying about hats and start focusing on winning matches the right way I'll be watching 100% listen to your mentor face me again this time in the ring without the pre-match attack fine but it's going to be more of the same has shake to the moon after race bananas and Karen Grimes never made it to the rain their first and Karen they will face each other at the again the next week of an NXT. Okay, so we're gonna have our actual first televised match now. An eight dollar beer got essential kid he kids big blue pocket t shirt. Okay. Okay, and uh, I would like to watch my entrance on my actual first the televised The following contest match. is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 219 pounds, Taylor! This guy used to stick okay. to one weight class back in MMA. 
but he's made a good adjustment into the world of WWE where his opponents come in all sizes. His striking ability is ridiculous. We'll just skip that. Let's look at Cammy Grimes for a bit. Just kidding. Cameron Grimes is it's not the worst the thing. Rings, this has already got longer than the match last week that never actually got uh, started. I have to damage Cameron Grimes with the tanks. Of course, there's an objective. whether Cameron Grimes was the greatest superstar to ever wear a hat. Can you blame Grimes for what he did? Uh, yeah, I can. And so did Grimes' mentor, Jeff Hardy. Him. When the guy who trained you was calling you out, you clearly messed up. Yeah, I'll get into the top of it. send his opponent to the moon Andy. again. Watch out! Get it. it. And it just barely hit me. We got into it. Well, Benjamin, Grimes just reversing him. Grimes dodges that one. And it just slamming me onto it again. And a big knee to the face. And another one. Ooh, and the one last one. Just bring him up. And the, the record knee. And Grimes maintaining the advantage now. Yeah, Cameron's bringing out that country power of his. And just slamming with the dream set to get to once again. If he can hold the with line the here, he'll be in a good punches. position. Good chance for him to regain his wits. And bring Cameron up with the punches, kicks, and even slams. And just punching and kicking and head and headbutting. Now, do it more punches and kicks. And even more with up and ooh, Kenny Grimes reversing into a DDT. Now reversing the slap. Now to a big strike right to the back, missing the elbow drop, but hitting this time in one last hit. And, and the pressure the third on Grimes drop continues to miss. Yeah, Cameron just keeps getting cut down. Quick strike to the lower body. And a big stroke. And a big slam. Now, a big oh, knee me. to the face. Now bring the arm up. No, Danny first, we're trying to do signature. And Grimes evades that. With a big punch. Right to the face. Now try and break his own. Just repeat stomps to the head. And now bring him up. Again, throw him into the corner. Just getting stomped away at the corner. In the corner. Now getting lifted up, up and there up uh, just like that, getting slammed right to the ground. And getting reversed at the sweep. Cameron Grimes with the cave in. Grimes hits the referee. That's on the referee. He needs to be more aware when Grimes is about to yeah. send his opponent to the moon. Because. Now, Cameron Grimes going to the ringside well, with both like Leon Taylor, the referee, on the ground. Now grabbing a baseball bat. It's Jeff Hardy. Now the Jeff Hardy. Is here Jeff Hardy's here. But takes the baseball why? bat away from Cameron Grimes. Now Jeff Hardy and Cameron Grimes arguing. And Jeff Hardy like hitting. It. Leon Taylor with the baseball bat. Now the referee going for the pin. Two. 
in three, and Kelly Grimes beats you on children in a match that I cannot win. You may not like how it went down, but at the end of the day, Jeff Hardy and Cameron Grimes are like family. And that means Hardy's going to help Grimes get ahead in WWE, no matter what that entails. That's fine, but be upfront about it. Hardy was chastising Cameron Grimes on social media for using tactics like this, and then he turns around and does the same thing. Hopefully we'll get some kind of explanation from the charismatic Enigma before long. And the match is over. Oh, time to take over. Achievement. Probably just complete your first match on NXT. Jeff Hardy. Cameron Grimes is like a little brother to me. And I know more than anyone that little brothers have their minds of their own. Leon Taylor was trying to use that to drive a wedge between us. So I did what I had to do. Always going to have my little bros back over and outside. If you have a problem with that, let me know. Thanks, big bro. Never doubted you were us. Cameron Grimes to the moon. Hashtag to the moon. I do have a problem with Jeff Hardy, a big one. So you know little bro and me. And I partner in the ring to sell this. Hardy style in a TLC match. Fine with me, we'll do it. TLC against me and one of the innovators of the match. You have no idea what you've gone yourself into. It would be, it would take some kind of maniac to even want to team with you. A maniac, hmm, maybe you're onto something. Element of surprise. Let's see what DMs. Road Dog, how did bounce early, but I heard the good news that you signed with NXT. You're gonna do great there. Let me know if you need anything ever. We'll celebrate later. Okay. Well, I'm going to end that episode there. And I will see you all in the next video. When I continue to end this rivalry with Cameron Grimes. See you all in the next episode.